Yeah, sure. It's, uh, first of all, it's great to be back, and hopefully you all can sense the uh, both the enthusiasm and the excitement and the intensity here at Berea. I was uh, in Ohio yesterday visiting truck stops most of the day, and we just opened a new stop down in Canton, and I was quickly reminded of how ever strongly everybody feels about the football in this area. I got out of my rental car and started walking toward the store. Before I got in the store, I had two questions from two separate people. The first one is, Jimmy, when are we going to start winning? The second one was, man, are we going to make the playoffs this year? So it reminded me of the love of football that everybody has up here. But hopefully you can see the changes have been made. I don't Have you all seen the inside of the building or not? Yeah. Well, it's going to be, yeah. yeah, I've seen the changes made to the building and some of the changes made outside. And we're excited and ready to go with a new regime. And I'll be glad to answer any questions you all may have. Jimmy, what gives you the most confidence that this year is the team will be able to build on what it did last year and really kind of take off? You know, I think it's important. I was thinking today, we were announced in Berea almost a year ago, August 3rd. And I think at the time, and, and we said it, I've said it a lot, and I know Joe said it a lot, particularly lately, we view this as a uh, long-term project. And I don't mean to say that that doesn't mean we're not going to be really good this year or improved this year. I think we will be, but I think it's important for everybody to keep in mind that we're in this for the long run, and I constantly remind the organization of two things, and, and everybody in the organization needs to be focused on two things. The first is consistently winning, because let's face it, that's what it's all about. And I think the key word there is consistently winning, and let's face it, we've got two great examples of that in our division, as we pointed out several times. The second thing everybody needs to be focused on is providing our fans a great experience. And everybody immediately at that time thinks about the game, right? But to me, there's lots of parts of it, okay? Like today, we're providing our fans a great experience, right? I mean, good environment, lots of excitement right here on top of us, much better setup than last year. The town hall we're doing next week that Joe, uh, Alec, Mike, Chud and I are doing next week, I think that's another example of providing our fans a great experience. So we're going to be focused on winning games, number one, and winning consistently, and providing our fans great excitement, great value uh, over an extended period of time. How difficult will it be though, Jimmy, to be patient? Well, as you're talking to one of the more impatient people in the world, so <laughs> it's not easy. And, you know, we're talking today, how badly do all want to win the first game? We really want to win the first game. We all understand the importance of that. But I think re really it counts is how we perform in the last three games versus how we perform in the first three games. And are we a better team at the end of the year than we're at the first of the year? I think that's important for all teams, but particularly for young teams. Jimmy, how, what's it like for you on your first day of your first training camp officially in charge? I'll tell you, it's exciting. I, you'll probably laugh when I say this. It was all I could do to not come out here at about 3.30. Because, you know, we've redone it. My office is literally right there. And so I can see everybody gather, and I've been watching them set up all day. It's exciting. It's fun. And if you like and care about football, you can't help but be excited about this. You know, at the risk of diving into a very complex topic in this uh, short amount of time, one of the uh, questions on people's minds is cash flow amid your company's challenges uh, with the stuff is, uh, Sure. Well, let me say two things, and I think we said this earlier in some comments we made earlier in the year. I said this on August 3rd. We're committed to owning the Browns for a long period of time. And I understand in Cleveland there's a great deal of uncertainty because of past history, but the fans should not worry. Our family's going to own this asset for a long, long time. And we're excited, and I'll say this, we feel a privilege to own not just an NFL franchise, but to own the Cleveland Browns with all the heritage history it has, and can't believe the love of football returned earlier. There's absolutely no worry about cash flow, and I think if there was, and I mentioned this earlier, we wouldn't be doing the things we are in Berea, we wouldn't have signed the free agents, uh, we wouldn't be talking about doing the things we are at the stadium. So we're looking at this as a long-term vision. We want to be successful as quickly as we can. We want to build a long-term vision here. Is the fact that you turned over the, uh, the pilot and can pretty fast an indication of the, of the cash flow situation? When you say turned over, what's that? Well, mean? It, it, the ground broke seemed like yesterday, and uh, now uh, I think companies are, are good at yeah. certain things and not good at others. One of the things we're good at is developing, and that's how we're fortunate enough to have over 500 stops. And we traditionally build our stops in about 500, or excuse me, about 120 days. That's what we did camp. How do you prevent um, the other things going on with pilot from being a distraction from you running this football team? Yeah. Let me say this, and I've said this before. I, and I think I said this back in May when I met with you, a lot of you all, and I'll say it again. I apologize for the negative attention that this has brought to Cleveland, the Browns, and the NFL. I mean that sincerely. I'll be honest. I'm going to stay very focused on two things. One, making sure we correct the 
activities at Pilot Flying J that led to some of the accusations that have been made. But secondly, and more importantly, to do the things we talked to at Cleveland. And I think you all are starting to see, and I think it'll prove out over a period of time, we've assembled a really good team here. And whether it's Joe and Alec, or Mike and Chud, or the people that want to work under them, and I think Joe said that, and I think if you ask people around the building, there's no distraction. I mean, I don't think anybody senses distraction here. Everybody is entirely focused on the two things we talked about, winning games one, providing a great experience for our fans too. Jimmy, did you address the players today? And we're not I did not, but would not. I wouldn't have normally done it. I uh, didn't do it last year when we first came into it. And uh, I know Chud talked to him. I think Jim Brown talked to him today. But that's, you know, that's Chud's job. What do you hope uh, they're thinking of right now? I hope they're thinking about getting better as a football player and as a football team. And I'm not worried about it. They are. What are your expectations for this season? You said consistently winning, but I what can we expect? to improve. And, and your all's natural question is, and I'd ask this if I were you, how many games, right? And I don't think it's fair to put it that way because there's injuries, there's breaks. I think, and, and Mike and, and Joe and I had a long meeting today, we'll all know at the end of the year if we're a better football team than we were at the end of last year and that we're better than we were at the first of this year. We'll all know that. Time for if, just one last Jimmy, question. If they're, if they're, I mean, I'm sure you've been in constant contact with the NFL since this whole thing has started. If it were to go further and you were, were happen to be indicted, is there some kind of plan in place? Are you going to keep the whole team? Is some of the family going to hold the team? How would it continue? Yeah, well, let me say this. I think you all have seen this with us and with me. Our style is to be very transparent and very open. And uh, when the government investigation happened on April 15th, one of the very first calls we made was to the NFL. We are in constant contact with them. They have been very supportive uh, in working with us, and I'd say we're very optimistic on the outcome. Thanks, everybody. Great. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing you later. Thanks for coming out.